Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Hey guys, of course, we're checking out the newest episode of Marvel's What If. This is Season 1, Episode 4. What if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands? Now, this is referring to what a lot of people are calling Dark Doctor Strange in terms of his look. And with the title, I mean, the implication there, I mean, the change in how Steven becomes Doctor Strange. Instead of his hands, he loses his heart, which means... His origin is going to change drastically, which I'm excited to check this out because one of the things I really liked about the trailers and the marketing was seeing this dark Doctor Strange, this different version of Doctor Strange. And I'm like, what is this all about? Because like, because at one point, I think we see our Doctor Strange from the MCU fighting this darker looking version of the character. And... I'm like, okay, so is there some sort of duplicate or something? Is there some sort of, like, mirroring thing going on here with our Doctor Strange and this darker version? I'm curious to see how that all plays out because, I mean, if this is from this episode where we're seeing two Doctor Strange fight each other, I'm curious to know the context of it and how does Steven become this new version of Doctor Strange if his hands aren't taken away from him? Like... How does, how does that go about? Like, does he stumble across all of this in a different way because the injury doesn't happen? I'm curious how it's going to play out because last week's episode with the whole murder mystery and everything and the reveal of Hank Pym being behind all of it was a great, great episode. I was blown away by what they did with that episode. I mean, I, I've, been, I've enjoyed pretty much all the episodes. The first one with, you know, uh, Captain Carter was rushed, but overall enjoyed it, but episodes two and three were freaking fantastic, so I'm excited to get this episode and see what it's all about revolving around this what if, because I'm really curious about this one. So here we go, guys. Let's get into this episode. Let's go. What if the best of intentions has very strange consequences? Strange. Okay. Let me hear it. Come on. I know you prepared something. You wouldn't just wing it. We need to celebrate this. We are. There's no celebrating happening here. It's something... Wrong decision. Nope. In this universe, Stephen Strange didn't lose his hands. Holy shit. But his heart. We're sick. Wow, they're really going through the whole events of the first movie. Yeah. Oh boy. He's creating a flashpoint. He's creating a flashpoint with an already altered timeline. I must owe someone a muffin basket for this personality shift. Personality shift because he's reliving it. Mm. The wreck still happens. He just went back again. Okay, don't get on that road, man. Okay, no matter what he does, he can't stop her from dying, I think. She died dancing, and now they're having pizza. Something wrong? Why does this keep happening? She keeps dying. I feel bad for him. He shouldn't be going back in time and doing this all over again. He shouldn't, but I feel bad that he can't fix it. Her death is an absolute point in time. Absolutely. In this I universe. The greatest sorcerers of the past could not traverse an absolute point. Mm. He's trying, though. Library. Hello. Library. Books. Books. <laughs> uh oh wow okay that i was like wondering where the shot connected in the what if episodes it's pretty cool oh boy okay th yeah this is jesus I don't think they would. There is a fine line between devotion and delusion. 
Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think I already has. Poor little gnome. Well, that was cool. Okay, now he's a demon strange. What the fuck? I can warn him, intervene. But the fate of his universe is not worth risking the safety of all others. Mm. Besides, you just gotta watch, man. I doubt he'd listen. My god. How many creatures is he absorbing? This is crazy. Oh wow. I chose to live, but I can reverse this. Holy he crap, really? Longer, forever. It was true. He wasn't alone. He wasn't was alone. The only Doctor Strange in this universe. Oh shit. What the fuck? Then who's causing this? Well, you are. How? To split the timeline. To split you. I'm looking for the lost library of living in the past. Okay. Allowing for two of your possible timelines to occur mm. in one universe. But do you want to stop him? When you in love with he's, him. He's slowly going away and he's able to still talk to him. At the very least to save you. The question is... That's not creepy at all. When are you? Hmm. We knew her. Mm-hmm. No. He's trying and it's going to destroy everything. Yeah. And for it not to actually work. And if you really try, it's going to destroy everything. I'll be whole again. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was cool, the watcher behind him. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's all manipulation. There you go. Get some punches in. Oh, my God. Okay, it's, it's over now. It's over. The universe is gone. Look at that Doctor Strange right there. Wings and shit. Jesus. No, you can't. And she's getting it. You ruined, you destroyed everything. You're a god. You can undo this. I'm not a god. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. We're going to see a bad outcome here, it seems. There's no happy ending, I don't think. And now she's going away. Wow. I was not expecting this ending. Holy one shit. Life, one choice. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I did not see that ending coming. A very dark and depressing ending to an episode that had so many crazy moments and choices that changed the entire outcome of the entire fucking <laughs> universe the entire world wow so the one change and i was wondering okay so how does he become this dark doctor strange and how does this unfold because they had showed that poster i think the day before saying look out for this week's episode of what if the one choice is that christine was in the car with him when the wreck occurred however the wreck causes her death and it's a major crash holy shit causes her death, and then instead of losing his hands, like in the title, he loses his heart. He loses her. And so he goes through the events of Doctor Strange pretty much the same way, except he's seeking out all of this from a different perspective, for a different reason. Goes through the events of Doctor Strange, as is, and then he's sitting there and he's contemplating, and Wong shows up and he's like, 
yeah, you know, well, you know, I'm just up, you know. I think he said of like a version of going to the bathroom or whatever. He's like, yeah, let's go to bed. Let's come to bed before you make a stupid decision because he knew he's like, hmm, he, he's he, he's sitting there and I, don't, I think he's de- debating something, a choice, and he shouldn't do it. He goes back in time and he tries to basically create a flashpoint within this because like because with the choice of Christine being in the car, it's essentially another timeline so we already so it's 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 already an altered timeline with christine in the car and then her dying in the crash and then him seeking out and becoming dr strange via because of the loss of her and not so much of his hands being lost his heart and everything and so he's creating a flashpoint within a alter timeline situation basically because i know comparing it marvel to dc but that's what he's trying to do he's trying to change the outcome of something that is deemed to be seen as a fixed point, and it is a fixed point. So he tries every which way he possibly can to try to save her. He even takes a different route, and immediately a truck hits the car and kills her. He even tries her to drive. It still doesn't change the outcome. And then the Ancient One shows up, and she realizes what he's doing. And when she attacked him, I'm thinking, okay, so she's trying to obviously stop him, but she's unsuccessful. However, she did something that I didn't see coming, and I think it was a great reveal, is that she split Doctor Strange into two. The one that made the decision to go back in time and the one that didn't. The only way to really stop yourself is you. And unfortunately, our Doctor Strange, the good one, even though he wasn't really our Doctor Strange because he went through another timeline and this is not the Doctor Strange we've been following since Doctor Strange, you know? But you get my point. The good Doctor Strange still loses because I'm going to stick with calling him Dark Doctor Strange. Dark Doctor Strange finds that hidden temple library thing, library, can't speak this morning, it's really early, um, and finds the book that he needs about time manipulation, time travel, you know, the basically trying to find out how to change a fixed point in the timeline, which you should not do. And he realizes, I need to absorb power in order to obtain the ability to do it because he does end up doing it. So he starts absorbing all of these creatures and basically taking their powers, becoming them essentially. I mean, at the end of the episode, he looks like a freaking like monster. It is ridiculous how crazy and bizarre he looked there when he first saves her and everything um and it kept like flashing you know through all these different creatures and you saw the the sun and the moon i, I, think, it was, I think it was like the sun and the moon it was like going like showing time is passing not realizing the guy that guided him to this area that uh, called him dr armani <laughs> i think that was the name he had aged so much because dr strange was there just constantly dark doctor strange just absorbing creatures after creature after creature just basically becoming so powerful that he can actually obtain the power to stop christine from dying so i like the reveal like i said of of her splitting doctor strange into two so that when things are starting to basically disappear and being destroyed he's able to hopefully we're hoping here stop his evil half and it didn't happen and i was surprised by that choice but i shouldn't be too surprised because this show has made some pretty crazy decisions in terms of previous episodes the decision to end it on a note of where he does get to save her but immediately she starts disappearing you know the stuff coming off her arm and her head and like she's slowly being destroyed And the Watcher, he doesn't even intervene. He actually shows himself and talks to Dark Doctor Strange. He sensed them. I think he sensed them because he was growing more powerful and he was sensing that somebody was watching the Watcher. So that was really interesting. And he even read about him. That's pretty cool. But I like the fact that they made it to where, because they could have easily made it to where the Watcher could try to intervene. Well, the Watcher knows too much. He knows too well. If I try to intervene with this, it's not. It's probably going to end up being worse. So, just seeing everything being destroyed and completely go away, and then go to credits, 
that I was waiting for another scene or something to happen or something, but no, it goes to credits. It, wow. Like, I just, I'm still shocked by it because I was expecting some sort of conclusion that maybe ends on kind of a neutral tone, maybe. But no, this was straight up. He destroyed everything because of Christine. Hey, we get it. We all do stupid things for love. Well, a lot of us do. I think most of most everybody will do something stupid for love. He did something so stupid. Once he absorbed the good Doctor Strange and it was over. It was over. But they did a very good job with this episode in terms of subverting my expectation because I'm sitting here thinking that we're going to be seeing a version of the Doctor Strange film being told here when in fact it has nothing to do with this. I mean, it does in terms of his journey, but he just goes through it as is. You know, it, it's it looks like it's basically the same events unfold in terms of when he goes and starts learning to become Doctor Strange and learning all these things. That seems pretty much the same. It's just the reason he gets there is what's different about it. But realizing that 90% of the story has nothing to do with what he went through in Doctor Strange 2016, you know, it just it, it's a different version, but it seems like the outcome of the events of that film takes place pretty much the same in this, but it's what happens after and realizing that one Doctor Strange, once he gets split, the one just goes through all of this mayhem and creates all of this chaos, not realizing that all all these things you're doing and absorbing all these beings and becoming stronger, it's actually going to destroy everything. So even if you do save her, which he does, it doesn't matter. It's brutal. That's harsh. It basically says once a decision in your life has been made, a choice has been made, you cannot fix it. It's like if something bad was to happen in my past that I want to change, but it's a fixed point in the timeline, I can't just go back and fix it. I can't just go back and try to make it right. Because if I do, something bad may, bad may happen in terms of the whole universe is destroying the whole earth. So with the Watcher watching all this, I mean, this is probably not the first time he's seen anything like this, so it's not surprising. But I don't know. It's a crazy ending. I mean, I just, wow. I, I The statement they're making here. It's like once a decision has been made in your timeline, if you have the ability to somehow fix it or try to change it, don't. It's a fixed point. It cannot be undone. And in this instance, I think that it was interesting that that night, Christine's with him instead of in our version of the, the events of Stephen. She's not with him. Crazy. Crazy. So I really enjoyed this episode. I think it's really, really, uh, really well done in terms of telling the story, basically giving us a lot of differences and basically just telling us a whole brand new story. I mean, you know, previous what if episodes have done a pretty decent job in terms of giving us some familiarity in terms of story. But a lot of changes in this. There's a, there's so many changes here, like so many ridiculous moments. It's it's crazy. But I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what happens next. The what if, in my opinion, has done a great job, just delivering and giving us some really great storytelling and really making us question what is what's going to happen next because we don't know where it's going because we we're used to some we're used to some of these things in the films, but like there are some changes and major decisions they're they're making that are really like. Crazy. Crazy. So what did you guys think of this episode of What If? I'm curious to know your thoughts, guys. My personal opinion, this was awesome. I mean, it's dark and in the ending, wow. But I mean, they delivered. They delivered on a very interesting and a crazy story. And I can't wait to see what they do next. Can't wait to see what the next episode is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.